And welcome back, gamers, to Let's Play Colonization. This is SKS reminding you that you gotta fight for your right to party! In this case, though, we gotta fight for our right to keep the Dutch out of our lands. Now, I sent one of my ships back to Europe because I want to pick up a few things and just be happy-go-lucky and... Oh, what's this guy? He found some muskets and he found that. Oh, Lord. Oh, dear. And that wiped out all my money, but hopefully that will be worth it. I hope I don't need a lot to combat them. I'm not going to go out there and attack him. I'm going to kind of let him come to me. But we'll see how that tactic pays off in a minute. If I lose horribly, I will erase this video and you'll never know a thing about it. So we'll just have to see. And that merchantman come out with nothing on it, but I feel like I want to go sink it anyway. Now, to motivate me to do better in this, I've got some Newcastle Brown Ale, which is imported from England. So I figure if I'm playing as the English and drinking English beer, the Dutch should have nothing on me. <sighs> the one and only Newcastle Brown Ale. Hopefully one of their people are listening and I'll get a sponsorship. I'll play games. I'll LP all day drinking beer. Well, let's continue on and see what we can have. We need to get this ship... Let's see if we can pick up some more furs. Okay, I don't want that many. How many furs do we have? Um, unload the furs anyway. We'll take 100. And we'll take the silver. And we will actually use that money to fund our war. So hopefully they can get back in time. I actually should change production. What is Fort Boob making right now? A printing press. Okay, we'll let them finish that. Hopefully we can keep the, uh, the Dutch at bay just for a little bit. As I do in most games, players, I tend to always build my military up last, and that always gets my butt in trouble. As you all can see that now, it's happening. And our privateer is damaged, so we might be heading to a bad times for the, uh, the English. I, I still don't want to... Is there a way for me to talk to them? I'm pretty sure there is. Um, foreign Affairs Advisor... Oh, I should have showed this to you all earlier in the game. Foreign Affairs Advisor, uh, it shows the people left. As you can see, Christopher Columbus is Spanish, withdrawn from the New World. That's where I got that 50% uh, wanted uh, rebellion. But there should be a way for me to talk to them. I know there is. But it comes with me having to figure that out. Oh well, we'll figure it out sometime. So we will leave that soldier there. And the soldier I will move up to Fort Boob. Oh, the Indians got pissed for me standing out there now. I wish there was a way for me to tell them, hey, they killed my pioneer. Which on the newer version of the game, I think I put it once and become disappointed at it. Because I didn't really... It was so much civilization that it kind of shied me away from it. But I might actually pay attention to that soon. Let's see. So I still don't have money, but we're going to send them back to the New World. And I might land them up there near one of their colonies. Which I believe they have stockades already built. And that could be an issue for me. I wished I had those built as well. So no, New Amsterdam does not have a stockade. Fort Orange does. So if I land right here at New Amsterdam, which they may very well have a stockade now, I might be able to surprise them. 
with my dragoon. But time will tell. Now the blue soldier is a veteran soldier. The other one is just a common guy who's like, here, have a gun, go shoot at them. They wear orange. So hopefully he'll get up there in time. We can kick some Dutch ass! Yeah! Again, I probably just lost all my Dutch viewers. Alright, let's make more Liberty Bells. Yay! Because all we were doing is exploiting silver there. Hurry up, ship. I need you to go sell that silver so I can make some money. Alright, we've reached the end of the world there. He is just going to fortify right there in that spot. And just piss the hell out of me off. Well, he won't stay there long once I fortify this dude and I bring my other soldier up. If I had the extra guns... Oh. They must have built a new... Mighty Explorer. We again welcome you to the news. Blah, blah, blah. We have never condoned piracy. Yes, we... We'd like peace, go in peace, uh, remove your people from my territories. We might have just dodged the bullet there, folks. Um, for them to give me that, or they could just be setting up. But what I've got to do now is go into Mondo preparation mode. I need to start purchasing guns. I need to start making money like uh, Fort Boob. We need to actually build a stockade now. And then an armory. And we need to get ready for them to attack again because they probably will that's the way this game works they will declare peace then they will position their soldiers and then they will come after you once again and I'm still gonna go up here and drop this guy right here next to New Amsterdam because they have pissed me off that bad So we will, I'm going to put this soldier here and kind of see what they're going to do. Okay, they're going to move away. So maybe we can go back to privateering mode. If that's the case, then I need to go up here and stop this ship. Yes, 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 yes. Good, good. So... A new cargo of lumber is ready. Zoom the colony. Okay, you can actually start building stuff then with your lumber. Yay! Alright, let me go up here and stop this ship. And we will get control of it. And it will go to Fort Boob. And now, what I'm going to do is unfreeze one of those soldiers I had at the door. Clear his orders, and we'll send him back down to... This guy can stay here, because that's our front. We'll send him to I Hate France, which is theoretically our capital of our new area. see what comes of it. But I do need to work on getting my privateers back in place. Master Carpenters would be excellent right about now. Tools at Fort Boob. So with tools, what are we building? The stockade, how much is it to buy? We can't afford it. So we're going to move him down to help build the stockade. And the 
this privateer. We'll send him back south to terrorize the French. I still need to find where the main French area is. So hopefully my other privateer gets fixed. As you can see, they're still in my land. I wish they would leave because I'm going to have to go to war with them here in a minute if they don't. And that's going to very tremendously make me upset. Okay, they're building a stable. That's fine. Because I need to buy horses and start producing those so that I can make dragoons. I think shit just got real in this game. It was all fun and games as they moved their dragoon farther north. That's great. It's less pressure. I really wish they would move the soldier away. Because I'm not a fan of them just walking around. Okay. Yay for cotton. And the privateers competed, completed its repairs, so let's unload some silver and make some money. And let's see, 1650. We'll buy one more artillery. Yes. And we will bound for the new world, and we will send our privateer back as well. So hopefully, we beefed up our fortifications a little. Once the stockades get built, I'll sleep a little better at night. It was probably something I should have done from the start, gamers, but you'll find out that SKS is not always in his right mind. He sometimes just likes to wander into space and pay attention to things flying around the ceiling and look up and say, where the hell's my roof? Yay, and it's the French. Mighty explorer, Sir SKS. Blah, 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 blah. We could care less. We have never condoned piracy. We do not pirate. Go in peace. Thank you. Now, if anybody was close to the Dutch, I might have them declare war, but I'm going to just assume right now that this, the French are the strongest in the game, because they did get um, the Spanish lands, so that's just what I'm going to assume for right now. I really need to start bringing some more population over to these places. I might should invest in a merchantman, just so I can have two people rolling back and forth. But it must ponder me why the Dutch are sending missionaries down. I've not done any missionaries yet either. Alright, sorry for the hiccup there. The game kind of froze on me. And we'll sit here and wait for the French to do something. Hope y'all have been enjoying this Let's Play Colonization. You've almost seen war break out. You see me... Oh, I think they're at it again, so we'll have to see what's going on. I think it's coming to the point where I'm just going to have to realize that war with the Dutch is inevitable. And I'm going to have to te take them on and beat them at their own game. So, we'll have to see that. So we've made our stable. So let's have them build a stockade now. They're probably not going to have enough wood to do that. This caravel has nothing on it, which worries me, because does that mean that the game glitched out and didn't send my stuff back? So we'll have them wait. Because I was supposed to have had my cannon on that. And for some reason, it put them on the wrong ship. So we'll have to bring, I'm going to bring these up here to Fort Boob. And this caravel can go to I Hate France. They come in the exact wrong locations. Sometimes it happens on the game if you send two ships back at the same time. It will switch their cargo and have them come back in the squares that was opposite to what they exited on. And that's the case that happened there. My caravel come in where 
the the uh, privateer left. Now we need to actually activate that ship and get ready to take on these um, things. Hopefully they'll have guns and something more valuable on it. Usually if the Spanish are near you and you start plundering them, which they're eliminated from this game of course, you can steal a lot of silver. But I think I've made the decision that we are going to have to go to war with the French. Or not the French, but the Dutch, excuse me. So gamers, join me next time. This is SKS for Let's Play Colonization, where it's war with the orange! We'll see you next time. Goodbye, gamers.